To discuss more about the new forex app and regulations, we have with us Ms. Ayomi Alugahara Gunavadhanan, who is the Corporate Commercial Law President Partner at FJNG Desairu. Uh, welcome, Ayomi, to uh, Common.LK. Um, if you could just elaborate, I think, quickly some of the key changes that uh, our viewers should know with this new forex app compared to what was there before. All right. Um, essentially, the previous law, the Exchange Control Act, was a law that said no, no payments out, no issue of shares, no transfer of shares. And the liberalization that took place over the years gave permissions to the no. This law differs significantly in that um, it permits current transactions. It permits transactions, both current and capital, if you have foreign funds or foreign assets. And it permits, uh, it has permitted classes of capital transactions. The latter is not dissimilar to what we have seen before. Uh, the other change is the regulatory mechanism. Essentially, in the previous regime, um, we were required to go to the central bank for special or general permissions. Um, in this regime, the regulatory function is uh, largely played by the authorized dealer. And the discretion is given to the authorized dealer to assess the bona fides of the transaction. Um, I would say that is really a significant change from the previous year. Um, in terms of some of the things that businesses, I think, should be acutely aware of in terms of the transaction, what would you sort of want to highlight? Okay. So if a person already has foreign currency in a bank within Sri Lanka or outside Sri Lanka or foreign assets, there is freedom to use this assets of foreign currency. Um, that's from a uh, existing status quo position. Um, as far as businesses go, um, as I mentioned, current transactions are permitted. Um, in terms of the directions that are issued, a large number, almost all types of current transactions have been listed out and are permitted. Um, so that gives comfort to business um, in the previous regime as to whether a transaction was a current transaction or not, often was a question raised. So I hope that what has done been done will be confident. Um, then on the capital transactions um, is as near as I mentioned similar to what we have seen in the previous regime. Um, there have been an increase in thresholds. So for example, a listed company can invest up to 2 million US dollars per year. Um, uh, that is uh, quite a significant increase in, in the thresholds. Um, a non-listed company also can invest a certain amount per year. Um, so from a business point of view, I think there has been some positive changes. Of course, one must remember um, that our economic situation, and I think you could come in there with some comment, dictates to what extent the liberalization is possible today and the pace at which the liberalization will continue uh, in, in the years to come. Yeah, I think it's, it's sort of being balanced with the economic stability picture as well. Uh, I will thank you for these insights. I think uh, as we go on, we hope to present more insights on the reform process that's ongoing for our viewers on economy.lk.